Welcome back to the show. Now we're going to see Minoru Suzuki take on someone that uh, you, Josh, you're very familiar with. Yeah, Takashi Izuka was one of my fellow wrestlers within New Japan Pro Wrestling at the time. This was part of a three-on-three -three New Japan Pro Wrestling versus Pancras series. And uh, Izuka trained with me extensively prior to this bout. And uh, also, we were tag team partners in New Japan Pro Wrestling from time to time. And, and he is one of the people that uh, I created a real rapport with and was a regular training partner. And, uh, uh, really an honor to be there for Izuka and help prepare him against another one of the people that I look up to, Minoru Suzuki. All right, let's go to the match. Takashi Izuka versus Minoru Suzuki. As we move to round two, and Josh, Izuka isn't 100% at the time of this fight. No, actually, unbeknownst to everybody, uh, in training prior, uh, previously uh, for this fight, we were on the road, and uh, during some, some sparring, Izuka actually completely tore his knee and uh, blew out his ACL among doing some dam damage to the cartilage and refused to pull out of this match because of uh, uh, honor and respect to, to me and New Japan Pro Wrestling at booking this fight. Uh, it's such an incredibly tough guy. Um, but severely hampered by this injury is Izuka. As you can just barely see the tape over the uh, right knee there of Izuka. In fact, that if I remember correctly, we might have taped both of his knees so that Suzuki wouldn't know which one was injured. And as we see Minoru Suzuki, uh, it's good to see that he's still around, but now he's just a shell of uh, what he once was. I wouldn't say a shell, but uh, he has been through war after war, and he's certainly been feeling the effects of it. Uh, Suzuki now an incredibly popular pro wrestler, very successful, and uh, voted Tokyo Sports MVP last year. Uh, Suzuki working the, the choke there, trying to wrap that left arm inside and into the throat of Izuka, as Izuka with that, with that uh, damaged knee really unable to bridge. So hanging on tough here is Izuka. As Suzuki moves to the full mount, Izuka keeping his arms in, trying to circle around as Suzuki catches the side control position. Suzuki still an incredible mat tactician. Suzuki looking very active so far. If you pay attention, you can actually hear me coaching on Izuka from the blue corner. And uh, what are you telling him to do, Josh? Keep moving, keep moving, and get to your feet. And to protect his ankles. Suzuki driving his knees into Izuka's leg, trying to get him to apply pressure back and then pass by or take the leg. Stepping on the foot now is Suzuki. Izuka stuck on his back here. Suzuki uh, still on top, Izuka along his back. <coughs> Passing the guard, or attempting to, is Suzuki. Now jumping in on that injured leg is Suzuki. Izuka groaning in pain. Izuka would, is screaming right now, actually, and he's literally looking at me. He's caught in this Achilles lock on a, on a torn knee as Izuka is still looking for a toehold even as Suzuki continues to wrench on that leg. And finally uh, manages to clear his foot, but as the round comes to an end and so far things not going very well for the injured Izuka. Izuka still having to get to his feet to finish this round off. That blown knee. It's absolutely amazing to me that Izuka can even function still at this point, with his knee really being kept together more by tape than anything else as he loses his balance and Suzuki lands on top. Izuka trying to suck up that leg and maybe get on top of uh, Suzuki there. Maybe even get a chance to work a toehold from underneath. 
And it appears Izuka will, uh, will at least hang on to the end of the match. Working the choke is Suzuki, but not much time left. Izuka stuck underneath. As the bell rings and uh, this Naruse, and this Masayuki Naruse coming into the ring to help Izuka up. And it uh, looks like this match will go to Suzuki via a decision as we wait to hear the results. And uh, who's that guy on the left, Josh? That would be a young Josh Barnett there. All of... Uh, just a little bit more here, not that much more, just a little bit. All of uh, 25 years old at the time. As we see Suzuki, uh, he's changed his hair since the early days of Pancras. Suzuki's uh, wild hairdos would actually start to become a staple of his uh, character in the ring. One judge for Suzuki. And Suzuki pulls out a unanimous decision here as he had the only uh, real meaningful catch in the entire match. But uh, really the real battle here uh, coming with uh, Izuka coming into the ring debilitated. And uh, like I said, he was in that uh, Achilles lock on his injured knee as Suzuki was reefing away. He looked over at me and decided, uh, as I would find out later, that he was not going to tap because... Uh, of the respect for, for me and, and did not want to let me down and, and honestly Izuka in no way uh, let me down or, or I am not disappointed in the least and uh, one of the most uh, in moving experiences in my life was was everything surrounding that match and uh, further on in this night be a little more emotion all right we have to go to break but when we come back Kuma Kunioku takes the ring